In this section, we will see how XAML tooling enables you to work with control templates and group styles. What I would like to do here is to make the group headers appear on the left instead of the top and customize the look and feel of the group header. In order to do that, I will right click on the item to view control and you can see there's a new option called edit group style. The look and feel of the group item is defined by the container style. So I will navigate to that option and do a edit copy. I will give this template a name and hit enter. You can now see that there is an adorner around the group item. You can see a root grid, a header content which contains a group header template and the items control that is used to show the items in this particular group. In order for me to show it on the left side, I'll go ahead and create a column. As I no longer require this row, I will select the row on the artboard and hit the delete key to delete it. Then I'll select the header content, go to the property inspector and make sure its column and columns values are set right. As you can see, column is already set to zero, but I would like to change the column span to one. Then I'll select the items control and make sure its properties are set right as well. As you can see that the column is set to zero, I will change it to one and set the column span again to one. You can see that the items control has a top margin that is set to 39. I will copy the top margin and instead set it to the left. You can now see that we have completely changed the layout of the group header pretty easily. The next part, what, what I would like to do is customize the look and feel of the group header itself. As I would need to modify the states of the, the text block that actually contains the group header, I will now use blend. In order to do that, I can right click on a XAML file and say open in blend. We will now take a look at styling control templates and modifying visual states using Blend. In order to do that, I will right click on the grid view control, navigate to edit group style command. You can see edit generate header header template option here. I will click on edit current. You can now see that we have navigated to the template editing mode for the header template. <coughs> the header template contains a root grid and a button that displays the text. What I would like to do here is modify the style of the button. So I can go to the breadcrumb bar, edit template, again edit current. As you can now see, the states pane shows all the states for the button control like normal, pressed, disabled, and pointed over. What I would like to do here is change the color of the text for these states. So I'll select normal, select the text block, and change the foreground property in the property inspector. I will do similar operations for pressed, disabled and pointed over as well. You can preview how your control looks in different visual states by selecting the state in the states pane. Now let's scope up from the template editing mode and see how our styling affected the page as a whole. What I would like to do right now is deploy this app and look its behavior during runtime. I can do that by using the F5 shortcut key in Blend. You can now see that the text of the header is displayed in white in normal mode and on pointer over the color changes the value we have selected before. It is that easy to modify visual states and control templates in Blend.